Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. This is the second video on the Netrunner GUI that is currently in alpha, released for the Daryl blockchain. This is the all-in-one for your Daryl node and for your Daryl miner. And we're gonna jump into the platform and show you how to use it today. So in our last video, we installed the Daryl Netrunner GUI. We, built the we actually built the program itself to be able to run on your computer. If you haven't actually installed Netrunner yet, you can just go to the previous video. It will be posted in the Darrow Anominate uh, Netrunner Tutorials channel. That way you can access that prior to this video. All right, so let's jump into the Darrow Netrunner. So I'm going to just double click on my Darrow folder. This is where I installed it in the last video. Hit Netrunner, double click on the application, close the file, and you can see now that it's opened up a command window, which is where you'll be able to see things that are going on behind the scenes. I'm just gonna put this behind the GUI and then put the GUI in front of it. So right here we have the Netrunner GUI where we have access to our node and to our miner. You can go to the top right hand corner here, which is CFG. And this is where you'll be able to configure all the settings within your Netrunner GUI for the miner and also for the node. You can see here either the mainnet or testnet. You can put in your address for mining. You can choose how many threads you want to allocate. I'm just gonna put mine to 16. And then you can choose your sync mode, which is either syncing to the full sync setting, which is the full node, the full blockchain. This will take a lot longer to sync, or you can set it to fast node or fast sync, which I'll have mine set to for this video, where you can quickly sync the blockchain to the most recent node. So I'm just gonna leave mine set to fast. If you want, you can obviously paste in your Darrow address here to begin mining. I'm gonna just paste mine in today real quickly. That way I can show you how to set for mining. So I'm just gonna paste in my address. It's good to go. And now we can hit RTN once all of our settings are completed. Now we're back to the main node area. And now we can choose to start running our node. So I'm gonna hit the run button. And there you go. We are gonna begin syncing the blockchain to the most recent block. You can see behind the, th the th behind the scenes here, things are happening. We're starting to bootstrap and go through the process of syncing to the most recent block on the Darrow blockchain. You can see all the information that's currently available to us on the GUI, the difficulty, the current supply, how many peers we're connected to, the uptime, and lastly, the endpoint. Now, the endpoint is what you'll be using to connect to things like the RPC bridge, where you can connect your node, your daemon, right into the RPC bridge by just pasting in your IP address that's showing here. Once you paste that in, you can hit set, and then you can access websites like darrownfts.com or other third-party websites like DarrowDex, which is the bridge for Darrow. Now, if we just quickly go in behind here to the CLI, you can see that we're currently bootstrapping and syncing to the blockchain. Right now we're at 10%, and we, when we are at 100%, we will continue with the video. All right, now you can see that we are finalizing the sync of the blockchain. We're at 99.9%. .9%. It's been about 40 minutes since I started the sync but now we are completely syncing to the most recent block on the Darrow blockchain. You can see we're almost there right now, but a hundred blocks short. And then once this is completed, you'll be fully synced to the network and we will be able to connect and begin to use the node itself. And I can see we're just a couple blocks short as we're almost done. And you can also see now that we've synced to the blockchain, the current amount of time that it takes per block to be found on the network. Right now you can see it's around 19 seconds. And there you go. Our node is now fully synced and we are running on their blockchain. And now we are ready to go. So now that we're fully synced and we're on the most recent block, you can see now that we have the option to run our miner if we, if we choose to do so. So now that we put our address in the configuration section, I can just go to hit run here. And you can see now that my miner is also now running and it is going to mine to my wallet address that I put in the configuration section. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the Netrunner GUI. It is the full node and the miner for the Darrow network put into one. And now if we actually head on over to the RPC bridge, you can see our endpoint IP address here, but if we head on over to the RPC bridge, you just drop this down you can now see that our node has been connected to the most recent block just using the default setting, localhost 
10102. And now we can just put that back. So this platform is meant to run in tandem with the Ngram GUI wallet. So once the Darrow developers have released the update to Ngram, it will no longer have the Netrunner miner as a part of the GUI that was taken out for stability issues. Now they have it separate with the node itself. And then we would just open up our Ngram wallet. And this is where you'll be able to see all of your assets, send and receive, and all of that great stuff. So these two are meant to run together side by side. If you want now, you can go into settings and you can see that I'm currently running on a local node. I can go back and I can just open my wallet. And I'm currently running on my own node using the Ngram GUI. And now if I just scroll over to the right hand side here, I can just put in some credentials. Let me just put in RBM crypto and then uh, I'll just do demo one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can turn this on. And then if I go over to the RPC bridge, you can now see that I'm connected to my, my wallet and I'm also connected to the node using Netrunner and using Ngram. So now we have full connection using both of our GUI wallets to the RPC bridge if we want to use DarrowNFTs.com or the Darrow bridge. And that is how you're going to be able to run both your GUI interfaces side by side in for the future and for the foreseeable future on the Darrow network. If you guys have any questions about this video, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section or get back to me in the Darrow Anominate support channels and I'll answer those questions as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.